Hi, beautiful. Happy quarantine. How are we feeling? Are we good? Are we staying inside? We're not getting anybody sick. I'm feeling healthy. I hope you are too. And welcome to Hairdresser Reacts, the perfect way to cure your boredom today. Thank you for being here. Today, we're watching some girls go from red to blonde, which I'm sure you can already imagine is a very difficult task. Now, it's difficult for hairdressers, but these girls, oh, they're not seeing no hairdressers. No, 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 no. Why would they? These girls are about to risk it all in order to go from red to blonde all by themselves. Hopefully it comes out nice. I think we're gonna see a lot of orange hair. I mean, I know we are. And a lot of bleach and a lot of color remover, which sounds right up my alley. I'm excited to see what happens. Let's get it started. What do you guys think about the bangs? You like the bangs? It's like a bang, mom. It's like a bang. I got bangs. And our first contestant today on the show, Can You Make Your Hair From Red To Blonde All By Yourself, is Mandy Petrowski. And this video is called Burgundy Red To Blonde Hair At Home. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what you got. So I just went to Sally's Beauty and I got this stuff. Every good hair fail starts with Sally's Beauty. Only. This will strip my and then I'm gonna bleach it with the 30 volume cream from Salon K. Here. Okay. Lights blue. Okay. It's like a booster. It'll give you extra protection. I can't see. I can't see Mandy. The brassy tone. Put the camera down. For that, I'm going to tone it with the Wella color. T A T. Of course. Wella color charm 20. Great. We're using 20 volume for a toner. Always a good decision. I'm kidding, by the way. The shampoo and conditioner for blonde hair. Let me just tell you that I cannot wait until my blonde shampoo and conditioner comes out. Get ready. <laughs> I have white hair, you guys. No, you're not. Hopefully, I won't look like I'm balding. Okay, so we're starting off with the level six red, definitely burgundy-ish. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of orange in there. She's trying to go white. I don't think that's gonna happen. And also, her hair looks a bit compromised to start. Color fix. We're gonna do a color remover first. So I've covered my hair completely in the color remover. Color remover is a great option if you're trying to take out red pigment from the hair. Got it all over my head. No change so far. But I'm gonna time it for 20 minutes and just see what happens. I just got done removing all the colors. Okay. Looks like it removed all of the red from my hair at least. And now yeah. I'm move on to bleaching it. It does look a lot better actually. I want to see it dry. Okay, we're not gonna show it dry. Put in the coconut oil after I strip the color from my hair, even though it looks pretty dark still. I think your hair just wet coconut actually. Usually when you hair blow hair dry it, it'll look a lot lighter. And then I'm gonna put bleach in. Okay. So. <laughs> So we've applied the coconut oil on wet hair, and then we applied the bleach on the wet hair. That's a lot of wetness, which is just gonna dilute the developer. So it's gonna bring that 30 volume down to a 20 probably. She got it right on those roots. <laughs> she's got hot roots, and she's got some copper ends, and a orange, and a lot going on here. Good luck to you uh, trying to fix this. Oh. Oh, he's right. This is day two. I put the castor oil and coconut oil in my hair overnight. I'm about to bleach it yet again. Oh Wait, God, please don't bleach your roots bleach. again. I just bleached my hair, rinsed it out, and I'm getting a lot more of an orange color. I'm not sure if this is enough. It looks a whole lot better, right? And she did, didn't bleach her roots, it looks like to me, so that's awesome. Her ends look a lot better. I think she needs to lighten it one more time, and this is unfortunately gonna be a very, very stressful thing to her hair. Her hair is gonna be like, no, don't do it to me anymore. But I don't think I wanna bleach my hair again. I just don't think that it's very good for it, and it feels like straw right now. She's a smart girl. Oh, here's a tip, by the way, guys. Usually hair always feels like straw after bleaching it, even if your hair is healthy. You just need to wash it like a couple of times or like three times in order to get all that lightener out of your hair. The straw feeling should go away. Girl, come on. You're gonna tone that with T18? T18 is a level 10 toner. That means you have to put it on hair that is level 10, which is like the inside of a banana. You ever seen one of those, the inside of a banana? Um, Your hair is orange. It's not gonna do anything and you just wasted a whole lot of money buying that stuff. It always looks promising and then you see when it rinses off and it just didn't do anything. No, it doesn't look like it's gonna be white. Girl, of course it's not gonna be white. All right, everyone, I look 60 years older now. <laughs> my hair is orange oh. and my 
Oh. This is after I toned it for 30 minutes using the T18 color. Not totally hating this color. It's quite even. Somehow, I really don't even know how she accomplished that. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I actually do like it better than the red on her. It's a whole different vibe and I'm really feeling it. It's definitely yellow. She needs to get a full head of highlights at this point. That'll really help her situation. Two bleaches with prism and added brass remover and... She's actually made a lot of progress. I hate it. It's absolutely awful. I don't know if I should go to the salon or just like wait another couple weeks and bleach it again. I can't wait to see what she does. Put some makeup on now too to see if I could just like maybe get rid of the ugly. <laughs> Me! Okay, so this was a hair color um, two days later. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I've been putting the purple shampoo in it, or I mean conditioner. I have not shampooed my hair at all because I'm scared of it falling out, but I mix some of the conditioner in with some of the ion like sealer stuff. All right, kids got the bleach on. <sighs> sister, help me get it in the back. There's my sister in the back. So, not mad at this either. She separated out uh, each section, which is actually quite nice the way she did that with some paper towels, you know, we would normally not use paper towel. Whatever you got around the house, you know, it works, it works. She also avoided her roots, which I really like. And I think her hair is gonna be fine. All right, so I rinsed the bleach out and it looks, it's starting to look lighter now that it's dry. That looks still better. Orangey. So I'm about to head to Sally's and go get some more T18. Toner. There's other toners besides T18. There really is. Even within that Wella color charm line, there are toners that are not as light and they'll be better for your hair. T18 is not the only thing you can use. I promise. And they gave me T14. Yes! They didn't do T18. Thank God. They did T14, which is better. I just know it's like a darker level than T18. So we're, we're, I'll take it. Add some more of this in there so it protects my hair and then a color sealer after to lock in the hair. She could have just paid to go to a salon and it would have been the same amount of money. I mean, at this point she's spent at least like 160 to $200 and a lot of her time. I've put on the Wella T14 toner and so far it's really turning purpley. It's only been like five minutes, but it looks like it will definitely be silver or gray. Well, we can hope. I rinsed out the developer, I mean the toner. Oh! And right now I have some purple conditioner. I shampooed it and now I have purple conditioner just sitting in here. Oh. With damage remedy. Um, I got excited. Here. I thought that was the outcome. All right, I rinsed out the conditioner and I'm about to put in the color sealer, but I just wanted everyone to see. Yo, it looks so much better. Oh. Yeah. Under different lighting. Oh my God, so much different. Oh my God, it, it looks, looks so, so good. Much better. Oh, it took out so much of the brassiness. I just rinsed out. I put on a little bit of makeup just to see how it would flow, but I rinsed out the toner. Ton happier with this color than <clears throat> I had before I did the toner. What she's doing is not an easy process. I'm just happy she ended up with a decent blonde tone that she can live with. She doesn't look bad. She actually looks good and it's not perfect. However, she just went from red, dark red to really light blonde, like a level nine blonde. That's hard. And she did it quite well. If your hair has any yellow or orange in it, do not use the T18. Definitely bleach it one more time and go for the T. 14 although you might think it come up will come out gray mine came out like actually the color that i was hoping listen for. to her i mean other than these ends here but i can't bleach or do anything to these not for a long 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 time or grow it out and never but this is the final result that was actually really good. I am satisfied with that. Congrats on the new blonde hair. You look fabulous. I really like it. I would still go to a hairdresser and get a full foil done. That will help break up all that yellow you see in between and not really damage your hair too much because you're not lightening every single piece of hair, but it'll give a nice variation to colors. It'll be like a white strand, a little bit of a yellow strand, a white strand, yellow strand. So it'll give a little variation and break up that yellow you're seeing at the bottom of your hair without causing too much damage. Thank you, Mandy. And our next video is by Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Brandy, how's it going? And this video is called Bleaching My Bright Red Hair to Blonde. Yikes. Uh, okay, Brandy, let's see what we got going on here. So if you can see my hair, in my opinion, I, now that I'm actually recording, I see a little difference. So today I did the color Tell us. remover um, treatment using vitamin C and your shampoo. To break it down real quick, we have a copper color going on, right? So it's a little bit more on the orangey side. Um, I see a lot of yellows, a lot of oranges, and a little tint of red with a bit of a root going on. And she did the vitamin C method, which if you don't know, is basically like vitamin C, literally. Capsules of vitamin C into shampoo. It's supposed to take your color out. I think it's supposed to swell your hair fiber and release the artificial pigment.
pigment, but I don't really think it's that effective. I haven't really seen anybody do it and it come out amazing, but I've been wrong before. I have so many different shades in my hair, so like there's still a lot of red. I actually feel like it took some of the color out. That looks kind of brown to me, but like not a good brown. I haven't bleached my hair in years, and literally every time I bleached my hair, something went wrong, but that's because I didn't know what toner was or how to use it. So this time <laughs> I think I'm more prepared. We'll see about that. Um, people think they know what toner is and um, mostly nobody does, which is interesting because I feel like it's one of the most simple things to understand about hair care is a toner. You know what? No, it's not. Nah, I lied. I can't tell you what if it's simple or not because it just makes a lot of sense to me, but I'm also a hairdresser, so what do I know? Actually, I do know. I know a bit. I things actually. I feel like I didn't get enough toner. I'm just nervous and we might have to cut our hair after this. I think I'm just gonna leave my roots dark for now because like, not trying to impress anyone anyways. That mm, is probably not gonna work out since you're probably gonna put color remover on your hair or bleach and you're gonna end up getting your roots colored. It's just gonna be a mess. I am so stupid because I washed my hair today and it's not a good idea to wash your hair before you bleach it. My hair is so damaged already. This is just gonna be a nightmare, but. And she said it all, guys. I washed my hair today. It's gonna be a disaster because I'm not supposed to wash my hair when I bleach it. Yeah, it's not gonna go well. I couldn't have said it better myself, Brandy. What the hell? Let me say it next time, okay? What am I here for? You can't be bringing yourself down or else I'm not gonna have anything to do. I'll be out of a job. I'm not gonna worry about a camera. Next time you see me, I'll probably have like orange, patchy, yellow, I don't know, gingery hair and we'll, we'll see. Oh, she is so hopeful. She's really going into this already knowing it's gonna be the worst outcome ever, which I guess I appreciate in some odd sort of way. Okay, so she's not gonna show us how she did the bleach, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Okay, you guys, so okay. this is what my hair looks like so far. Okay. It's pink. Oh, no. <sighs> Again, I say this pretty much every video at this point. That's not enough bleach. You gotta put like more bleach on your hair or else it's not gonna work. <laughs> um, it shouldn't be like bone dry. It should never be dry like that until literally maybe the last few minutes of the bleach being on your head. Um, otherwise, you gotta keep it moist. Bleach loves the moistness. It doesn't like dryness. This is not what I was expecting. Okay. It's a lot more pink when I, before I rinsed it out. Okay. And, dry it. and I do feel like it's making it look a bit more orange for some reason, this lighting that it actually right. looks like. It's not that orange. So when you lift red hair, often it does turn pink because obviously the red fades out to pink. And if you're like a true red, the hair color that you're using usually has a mixture of, you know, yellow, red, but most of it is red. So you're seeing that red pigment fade out and turn to pink. I know you're not supposed to bleach it more than once in a day, <laughs> but I just don't want to have this hair and I'd like to try again. Okay, so the whole, you shouldn't bleach your hair twice in one day. It's kind of like a dumb rule because you can of course bleach your hair more than once in the same day. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a day later or a week later, your hair is not going to be in a different state in a week. It's not, it's still the same hair. I mean, you can like do a few masks and stuff. What a hair mask does is temporarily fill the holes in your hair that have been weakened from lightening. And what's gonna happen when you put bleach on it is just gonna eat that conditioner away. It's not gonna like save your hair or whatever. I don't know where that comes from, but once your hair is dead, you can't bring it back to life. You can make it feel better and look a lot better, but you cannot actually physically bring it back to life. You can bleach your hair as many times in a day as you want to until, you know, it starts to feel and then you should wait a couple months, you know, or long, or like six months until it grows back out. I got some okay. bleach on my roots, which if you've been watching, you should know that that's not what we wanted to do. What did I say? No, what did I, I say? Your roots. My what did I say? Damaged. Okay, it's only the next morning. I just cannot do this. I can't. Some parts are not that bad, but when you get to the roots area, pretty bad. So we're gonna be doing the roots and going, putting a little bit of bleach uh, only on Nice the and splotchy, woo! Orange like this. Not really on that. Like that's not that bad, I feel it. I feel like I could tone most of that, maybe just a little bit right there, but not like all of that because that's pretty damaged. The toner, I used two different kinds. It looks purple, part of it looked green, so I'm a little, like I'm honestly just freaking out at this point. Clearly she used T18 to do this. I don't know how it became so popular, but I did like it for a long time actually. And then I realized this is not good because it's a permanent color. You just don't need that strength on hair that was just lightened. t is a mess, okay? It just is. I still haven't put the purple in like the main dye. So this is just toner. So if it doesn't work, we're just gonna put the purple in later today. We're back. Oh. Hair's not purple because 
we're not gonna go purple anymore. Why does her hair look good? It's not perfect, it's not, but it looks decent. And I'm wearing a cap. Hardly. That's why, and I just don't like the look of it right now. Wait, it's but actually it's kind of cute. I was expecting this to go way worse. Obviously there are spots like in the back where the roots are just not Girl, very this good. is not bad. But this I'm is gonna wait not bad. Weeks until I dye it purple. Trying to get rid of like that reddish hair was so hard. And so I have a lot of like, um, like in the back, back here. Can we talk about how amazing her roots look? They are not over-processed. They're so even. The sh looks great. So apparently Brandy ended up leaving her hair there. She kind of stopped there, which I actually think is a good idea for her because otherwise I think it would have gone a little bit downhill. She also chops off her hair and I just want to real quick just see the full outcome of what happens to Brandy's hair because that wasn't enough for me. This is going to be me trying to cut my extremely damaged hair. It's oh, not, all of it, not extremely damaged. To, I'm not even really sure how much I want to cut off. I'm so impressed with how even her hair is. It's not perfect, but she definitely went from red to blonde that's for damn sure i'm gonna cut off a large amount like probably up to here yes I'm get it brandy i would be willing to go just in case it totally f***s up and i need to go somewhere because that could happen and then my hair right now is extremely damaged i have not been recording my adventures anymore but i have finally gotten my hair to a color i don't hate it's a yellow light so it's making my hair a little bit more yellow but um more white up here and a little darker at the bottom which i know is a no-no okay brandy here's the thing if you just did a proper glaze or toner or whatever you want to call it your hair would look Perfect. Literally a 45 minute process to just put a toner on your hair. One that has a deeper root with lighter ends. One with a root glaze that is a little bit deeper and an end glaze that's a little bit lighter. It would be so easy and your hair would look Perfect. Like a nice level seven ash toned root with a level nine kind of beige neutral end color. Oh, it would look perfect on you. It would make it look a lot more natural, a lot more salon quality. I also only have one hair tie and I'm really not sure how I'm going to do this. Like I don't really know how I'm gonna cut it. I'm not gonna probably do it like this because I see- Brandy's confidence is just- Peeking in these videos. Peeking. Like section by section and see how that goes. I really don't know. Okay, so she's going in. Oh, and she's cutting it and she's doing it. This is gonna be so good for her. Oh yeah, Brandy, get it, cut it, go, go, go. And back after straightening my hair. Oh, it's so blunt. It's so blunt, Brandy. Get, get it, stop. I, I pretty much straightened it all, but it was still kind of damp. My hair is definitely not looking awesome. I hope she shows the bag. It looks really uneven, but here it is from the front so far. That's how it looks. I know it's uneven, people. I probably will go get it fixed. It actually doesn't look bad. What the f***, Brandy? You're kind of killing it. Except I would have loved to see a more layered haircut on you. Really blunt ends. This is just really weighing down your hair. There's just no movement. There's nothing going on, but it's okay. Oh, it's... It looks like a broomstick, Brandy. A little bit, but um. Looks like a damn broomstick. Except this is not all my hair. There's so much hair on the ground. I'm gonna have to clean up. It's insane. You actually didn't really do that bad of a job. You kind of killed it. Like for an at-home job, for going from red to blonde, you kind of did a solid job. I would not like stare at you if I saw you in public. I wouldn't care. Let's move on. Brandy, thank you for that. <laughs> now we have, whoa, you guys. Love the channel name. Uh, This video is called Reddish Brown Hair to Light Blonde. Three step tutorial. Let's see what we got here. I just had to try so hard to get this freaking camera system the way it is. You're being held up by hair tie. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Today we are here to- Love me a good hair tie. Dark auburn red hair into platinum blonde. Oh we'll shoot. What happens. Color fix by one and only. It's color strip for your hair. I approve I of that, I do. Since I'm gonna be bleaching, especially with 40 volume developer, this is much more gentle. What'd she just say? What'd she just say? 40 volume developer? That's a lot. I have my magic hair dyeing kit. Wow. Just a glass Pyrex bowl. Because you can just go ahead and put everything you need into the bowl for one use instead of doing two uses worth separately. I also have a whisk that I took from a kitchen mixer that we never use. I also have these gloves from Sally Beauty Supply. Yes, actually. Great supplies though. Those are some nice vinyl gloves. It's a great bowl. That's a nice little whisk you have there. Please pardon how whack my hair looks right now. It's been up in a bun for the past 
two days. Again, we're starting off with a level six, copper red, not as copper as the other two girls, but yeah. And the ends definitely look like they're highly pigmented, whereas the top looks like it's faded out a bit. We're gonna probably see another moment where the ends turn out dark and the top part turns out light, but whatever. Third step is processing lotion, which I'm not gonna use because I'm pretty sure that this helps to stop the color stripping from happening if your hair is getting too light, but I'm trying to go blonde. Um, when you're buying a color stripper, I would recommend using the products that it comes with or else it's not gonna work properly. I'm sure that this step three is an important step. I don't think they just threw it in the box to just make sure your hair stops lightening. It probably makes sure your hair doesn't fall off or neutralizes whatever chemicals they had just put in your hair with step one and two. First on all of the places that are super pigmented. She's starting off on the parts of her hair that are very highly pigmented, she said. That's great. You always wanna do that because that part is gonna be the most stubborn and it's gonna lighten the slowest out of everything. Every step that I do, I'm going to follow with only conditioner. You're okay if you use warm water I'm not sure why she put it on her roots, considering her roots are her natural color and she put it on her like shaved side. Like you don't have any artificial color on that side of your head and be careful on your scalp. It's gonna dry your scalp out a lot before lightening. This is the lightest I've ever seen my hair after color fix. So we're at a good spot. Okay, this looks good. That was a really good start. It just lightened her hair like four levels with just a um, color remover and her hair looks fine. It looks a little bit compromised, but nothing to be scared of. I think it'll be fine. The prism prism light lights. Blue tinted bleach. Okay, this seems to be a fan here. favorite here. It only goes four shades lighter. This goes five. You can use it on or off the scalp. So a good idea would be starting with my undercut since it's the natural. I'm curious if I ever come out with a bleach, like I'm very curious as to how they're formulated because she's saying all this stuff like this one one lifts four levels, this one lifts five levels. I wonder how much that's actually true because from my findings, it's not very true at all. A lot of them are very similar and the ones that are very good are very good. Just something to think about. We're using 40 volume, woo! Not the one of the video that I showed, but this was not in a video. I didn't really get a happy result. It's fine. As long as she's only using it like once, it'll be fine. But if she's using 40 volume like three times in a row with more and more lightener, it's not gonna be cute and her hair is gonna fall to the ground. Um, but I think she's gonna be okay. I got the Ion Color Brilliance Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1. The part that I failed with is getting the second step. But I think it's fine because the second step is more like a color sealer kind of thing. So I'm guessing this is a bond builder, right? So you always need the second step in order for it to actually work. The second step is just as important as the first step. There wouldn't be a second step if the second step didn't do anything. For some reason, my undercut is super stubborn. It takes forever to lighten compared to the rest of my hair. All right, well, I wouldn't start on the roots. I'm surprised she's saying her undercut takes the longest to lighten. That sounds odd, but okay, we'll go with it. I'll believe her. I will say the place that I struggle the most to get lightened as most people do is right after the root. People most of the time have trouble getting the ends light and that's about it. Not the mid sections. Oh, this application process is irking me. Section it out just a little bit. I don't need a lot. She does look like she has enough lightener in her hair. So you did that. So my whole head is covered in bleach. It would have been better if she started on her ends because those have most pigment on them and then did her roots after. After she processes it for like whatever, 15, 20 minutes and her ends come to that orangey point. I would then start on your roots or else you're gonna get those hot roots and really red ends. It turned out pretty damn bright and also pretty damn damaging. After I washed it, it was very uh, Whoa! sticky and stuff like that. Go figure, because I used 40 volume. Again, I'm impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and use both boxes of the color charm right now and put them both. T teen needs to stop. Everything is nice and in there. Uh, this isn't gonna do anything. Like 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna take but whatever. a shower with lukewarm I hope it does. I don't know. cool water and I'm going to just use conditioner again. It turned out exactly well, I've been damned. I wanted it to. So, as I was- What the f just happened? That my last clip was super dry and damaged hair. And I just wanted to clarify that I actually found the best routine for my hair. It is so healthy right now. This is the end result. Pretty decent. Not salon quality, but she did a very good job. Her hair looks healthy still. Um, She didn't push it too far. That color came right out. I can't be mad. What the f 
happened today? What are these videos? The hair gods were just shining down on these people. Very shocked that T18 even did anything to her hair. I don't know how that happened, but more power to you, girl. Well, those were shockingly great transformations. Um, perfect, no, good, yes. Will I take it? Yeah. Nothing actually went totally completely south today, which I don't know how that happened. I actually thought we were gonna see some awful things go on, but um, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. Don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias. There's a lot now. There's TikTok, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's Twitter. Get on it. Let's get through this quarantine together. You can follow me at BradMondoNYC on everything. And you can also, check out my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair. It'll be linked below. And also you can follow us on Instagram at Xmondo Hair, where we post fabulous, amazing, beautiful hair content. And we sell fabulous, beautiful, amazing hair care products. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi beautiful, this is electric green, our moisture cream. Do you have damaged hair like me? Do you have curly hair not like me? And is it dry? Because guess what? Electric green is here. Applying a generous amount, your hair is gonna be much more hydrated and easier to work with, and it's going to really help boost the shine and integrity of your hair.